Okay, we got another video here. It's a quick how-to. It's a tutorial on how to transfer your presets from CS5 to CS5.5. Um, it kind of works like this in other formats too, but um, the example I'm showing right now is, is those two programs. Uh, so hopefully you didn't delete CS5 off your computer. If that's the case, I can't really help you, but if you didn't delete it, I can help you. So first you want to open up uh, CS5. So right here I already have it open. Um, the best way is you go over to your presets, which is over here in the effects. So sometimes it'll have, you can, there's the media browser info, history, effects. So um, obviously if you're saving presets, you probably already know all this anyway. So I probably should skip it, but figured I'd show you anyway. So do the drop down menu and your presets. I got a, not a ton, but a, a lot of useful presets that I uh, have used in the last year or so since I've had CS5. Um, the easiest way for me to transfer these is to go over here in CS5. The one you want to take them from CS5 to CS5.5. So just go over here, right click on the highlighted one that you can see there's a bunch of, you can highlight a bunch of different ones, but just highlight the one that you want. Right click and it'll say export preset. Hit export preset. Um, I'd suggest putting it in a file where it's very accessible. So uh, I'm just going to put it on my C drive for now and we'll name it presets. And you can have an untitled or title, whatever. I'm just going to put title for now. Well, it's not really a title. So let's, let's just say brightness and contrast. So you can then preset. So save that. And that's pretty much it. Now you have to do one at a time, which is kind of a bummer. I wish they had a batch export, but it's not that bad. I'm, unless, you know, you do a lot of presets, then you're going to have some time. But hey, it is what it is. You don't want to have to redo these things, especially when you're consistent with the camera equipment that you use, because everybody likes to tweak their color, and, you know, and they're, uh, you know, if you're working with a lot of green screen, uh, you're also going to want to use the ultra key. And there's always a little bit of tweaking here and there. So it's nice to save your presets, um, especially for a quick workflow. Um, so let's close this out and open up CS 5.5 to import it. It's going to take a while. So I'm just going to fast forward through all this. Okay, now that we're all loaded up with CS 5.5, we're going to import our presets. So we just go right over to here where the presets are. Uh, you can highlight preset, go import preset, and there it is where we saved it. Well, you can obviously put it wherever you want this the saved, but we're gonna, it defaults to this one. We're gonna import, we're gonna hit okay drop it in and there it is it's right there on the preset uh, you can also make a file if you want you know new preset bin sorry I shouldn't say file folder I should say bins so I don't get myself in trouble for not saying the technical term but it's gonna work right there I already have a CS5 presets down here that I made the other day transferring stuff over so that's pretty much it it's pretty painless uh, you don't want to lose your presets uh, you know, you work so hard building these things. It's good to uh, have a, you know, have them saved. I mean, it's it's really easy. Adobe products always like you to. Uh, uh, I know I always feel that they are always helpful with their upgrades, and it doesn't hinder you to, uh, you know, lose from all your work. So, anyway, that's about it. And uh, check out my other tutorials. Uh, I'm going to start building a few more because. Uh, couple friends asked me these questions and uh, instead of them coming over and having me uh, show them and then them forgetting and then calling me and asking me, you can just put it up on a video and they can watch. So anyway, uh, thanks a lot 
and hope you enjoy it.